Take one. Hey, I'm Emma, an eighth grader at Rancho San Joaquin Middle School. Hi, I'm Michelle, I'm an eighth grader, and I go to Vista Verde. And, and welcome, welcome to The, the Inside Out! Woo! This is The Inside Out. The Inside Out is our brand new junior high show. Every week you'll get to hear about Bible verses and testimonies from our own students. And we're your first hosts! Woo! Woo! Let's dive into the verse of the day. The verse of the day is Jeremiah 29 11. I'll take that. Uh, you. <laughs> for I know the plans I have for you. This is the Lord's declaration. Plans for your well-being, not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. You will call to me and come and pray to me. I will, I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. What's she doing? Yeah, I don't know where she came from. Hey, can we have that back? Jeez, okay. Wait, was that Parker? Yeah, I think it was. I think she's sharing your story today. Let's tune in. Hey, junior high, my name's Parker. I'm in seventh grade and I go to Ensign Intermediate in Newport. In August of 2020, my dad was diagnosed with stage one and two bladder cancer. This cancer included that he had to get a bladder removal surgery and he also had to go through chemotherapy. The chemotherapy drugs that were put into him included steroids and the steroids caused a chemical imbalance in his brain, which caused him to say some harsh things to both my mom and I that really weren't normal for my dad to say. On top of my dad being short tempered and manic from the chemotherapy drugs, he ended up relapsing after 14 years of being clean and sober. When my dad was undergoing chemotherapy, he also had to go to the emergency room twice, one for COVID pneumonia and one because his heart rates were abnormal. When he had COVID pneumonia, his oxygen levels were dangerously low. And after the nurses doing medically everything they physically could, they told my dad that it all depended on him, his will to live, and if he had any spiritual beliefs. They told my dad that he had to start, he should pray for a miracle or something to happen that will bring his oxygen levels up to a normal level. Right when the nurses left, my dad prayed, and immediately after that prayer, his oxygen levels were brought up to the normal level they should be at. A few days after that, he was released from the hospital, and now we are just preparing for a surgery that was coming up about a month later. With the surgery in preparation, my parents, I like to say, forced me to be in a life group. I did not want to go to this life group at all, but when the time came, my parents made me go, and I was kicking and screaming. And But when I left, I just like did not want to leave. I loved it so much. I loved the whole experience, my leaders, my group. It was the best time I ever had. And then after being in life group for a few weeks, my parents also made me go to a junior high weekend service one Saturday afternoon. From that service, I ended up talking to leaders about getting involved with tech because it was promoted at this service. At the end of February, very close, almost at the same weekend my father had his surgery, I went to my first tech meeting and I first served in tech for junior high. From then to now, I've now gotten involved in so many ministries. I am serving with tech at main stage and also junior high, and I'm also serving in kids ministry for childcare. My life group leaders group and also other leaders in JHM and the church prayed for my dad and my family while he was undergoing his surgery. The surgery was a success and my dad is now cancer free and has been for quite a while. God showed a great miracle in my life and my family's life. I now have been baptized, I have a passion and I also have so many great friends here at Mariners. Being involved in serving helped me so much and if you're not connected with serving, I encourage you to get connected too. I love hearing about Parker's story. If you want to be a part of our show or share your story, DM us on the account. That, that was the Inside, inside out, out, and we'll see you in seven. I think we're done. I think that was the last shot. Beautiful! This is the Inside Out. Woo!